So the first speaker tonight is Mike McDermott from uh, OceanWise from the Vancouver Park. He's the manager of OceanWise, and if you don't know what OceanWise is now, you will by the time he finishes. Um, the Vancouver Aquarium, a, co a conservation program created to educate and empower consumers about issues surrounding sustainable seafood. OceanWise works directly with restaurants and markets to help them make ocean-friendly buying decisions based on the current scientific information and provides an easily recognizable eco logo to market these products. Mike's background includes 10 years of research, education, and program development experience focused on marine and aqu aquatic develop environments in British Columbia. Please welcome Mike McDermott. Actually, it's a real honor to be invited to speak at the uh, at the first Food Talks, the first volume number one, I think it is, of Food Talks. A uh, real honor, especially with all the distinguished speakers that we have today. I don't know why I got to go first, but uh, we're going to set the bar real low so that uh, all these other talks are going to be phenomenal. Um, I guess, you know, Richard really covered everything that I wanted to say to you guys so far. So maybe what I'll do is I'll, I'll just talk a little bit and kind of will stimulate discussion. I'm really looking forward to the panel and to some of the questions that you have to be able to get into more of a discussion about what you want to hear about, what you want to know. But I'll tell you a little bit about my background and, and the history of the OceanWise program and how it came to be and where we are today. And I guess uh, starting with myself, uh, I grew up in Vancouver and uh, and I guess I developed my passion for both food and the oceans at, a, at an extremely young age. I remember cooking with my mom. She used to, she was a great, great, still is a great cook. And always used to give me a whole bunch of ingredients on the table and bowls and stuff like that. And she used to let, I can't believe she did this. Probably a waste of food. But she, she gave me all these ingredients and she let me mix up whatever I wanted. And she would actually cook it in the oven and see how it turned out. And she would actually try it. And she was a very brave woman. But the other thing that I also, my other early memory was sitting, at, especially at family dinners and stuff, sitting in the, in the den and always watching Jacques Cousteau on the TV. I loved it. I mean, it was a world where you could dream up the most crazy monster in your head, and there it was on the screen, and Jacques Cousteau was battling with it underwater. It was incredible. And so I kind of developed these two passions, and I guess in, in 2004, when the Vancouver Aquarium started coming up with this idea to create a sustainable seafood program in Vancouver, these two worlds for me just collided. And I said, I don't care what I have to do, I need to be a part of this. I'll volunteer, I don't care, I have to be a part of this. Now fast forward, well, eight years later, I'm still volunteering basically, but uh, the program has really taken off. And uh, we launched the program, launched the idea of OceanWise in 2005 uh, with our founding partner, Chef Robert Clark and Sea Restaurant. And the idea behind it really was to address what was the number one concern facing our oceans today, the number one threat that we're facing in our oceans, and that's the threat of overfishing. We simply have created a situation where these, these fleets are so great at catching animals out of the ocean that the ocean just simply can't keep up with the hunt. Now we know that at where we sit right now today, 90% of all the large predatory species in the oceans, the tunas, the marlins, the swordfish, the shark, are gone. We're now fishing the last 10% of all of these species and continuing to fish them just as far as hard. And our fisheries are starting to plummet. We're not, the boats are coming back empty without catch in them. And when we think about it, the oceans are really what define us as a planet. That the reason that life exists on this planet, they cover 70% of our planet, and they not only make us unique in the solar system, but they also moderate our climate, and they provide us with food. 1.2 billion people on the planet rely on seafood as their daily source of protein. 1.2 billion people rely on that. So if we get to a point which scientists predict may happen within the next 50 years, where we have no commercial fisheries because we've wiped them out, because we've simply taken too many too fast. This is going to have dev devastating consequences on our planet, especially as our, as our populations grow and the need for healthy sources of protein continues to grow. So we do 
we, ha we can no longer remain ignorant or naive about this. We have to act on this and do something. And the one thing that those scientists that said we could run out of, we could have a complete collapse of our commercial fisheries within 50 years, the one thing that they were quick to say is that's based on current extraction rates of our seafood. If we change the rate at which we're fishing these animals and, the, and what we're taking, we change that trajectory. And I guess if I can put it in a nutshell, that's exactly what we're trying to do with OceanWise. And we're trying to do that by appealing to consumers, empowering consumers to make the right choices. But as a consumer, it's very difficult for us to know what is a good sustainable seafood choice. This happens way out in the middle of the ocean, and we have no idea how that seafood is being caught and what the impacts might be, and it just ends up on our plate. So what we decided to do, and, and this was going out on a bit of a limb for the Vancouver Aquarium, so we decided to try and work with chefs. We decided to go talk to the chefs and see what they would think about the Vancouver Aquarium coming in and helping them make better decisions and, and deciding what they should and should not put on their plates. And we thought at first, well, maybe they're not gonna want the Vancouver Aquarium telling them what to serve on their plates. What was shocking was that they did. They really wanted to know, they needed the help. I mean, the chefs were all passionate about the food that they were serving, not only to make sure that it, it was everybody enjoyed it and it tasted good, but at the end of the day, they wanted to know that they were doing it right. And one of the things that chefs are so great at is teaching us about our food, where our food is coming from, and how to make responsible choices with it. We've seen that on land base for the last 20, 30 years. These ideas like local, seasonal, sustainable, 100 mile, fair trade, organic, these are common languages that we say now in our culinary world and when we're selecting food. And we're just starting to get there now with the oceans and really it's on the back and with our seafood and really that's been on the backs of these great chefs. The program's completely voluntary and we don't go out and solicit any businesses, but what happened surprised us. Within the first year, we had 27 local restaurants sign on to the program and we were getting calls not only from right across Canada but right across North America and around the world as well of people saying we want to get involved with this. We want to learn what we should be serving and we need help sourcing and finding those items as well. And what we managed to do in, in only six or seven short years now is grow to the point where we now have 3,100 active locations right across the country right from Victoria, BC, to St. John's, Newfoundland. And what that means is an incredible amount of buying power. All of our partners that sign on to the program work with us. We go through all of their seafood items. We help them get the most current scientific information on what is a good choice, what isn't a good choice, exactly why it is or isn't. And then we help them find good, sustainable alternatives to them. And with our network of seafood suppliers, producers, farmers, fishermen, we can help connect them with the producers that are doing things right and doing things sustainably. And then in turn, these chefs from restaurants and even grocery stores, markets, put the ocean-wise symbol right beside those items that are the best choices that we can be making with our seafood so it makes it a no-brainer for us. It makes it easy for us to identify what is the best choice we can be choosing and in part, we all become a part of the solution. And the one quote that always resonates with me on this is the famous quote by Margaret Mead, where never doubt that a committed group of thoughtful citizens can change the world. Indeed, it's the only thing that ever has. And in this case, with OceanWise, it's totally true. In seven short years, with the chef's support and teaching us about our food, we've started to change the marketplace for seafood in Canada. We're not 100% there yet, but it's changed phenomenally. Phenomenally, phenomenally, maybe I should have one more glass of wine. <laughs> and, and what we've found is that's trickled right down through the industry, right to the fisher and farmer. It's allowing them to conduct their operations more, more sustainably, or definitely another glass of wine, more sustainably, and it's allowing them to get value for their product. And that's how we change how fisheries are conducted. The point, we don't need to be the stick and tell 
the fishers or the farmers, they're bad, they're not doing the right thing. We just need to create incentive to do it right. And through this network of, of great restaurants, great chefs, markets, seafood suppliers and producers across the country, and ultimately committed and caring citizens that are looking for more sustainable options and responsible options with their food, we are actually making a huge difference. And that's all I have.